Heaven by Edith Wairimo and uh, we are live on uh, Facebook uh, pale Hope FM live utatupata pia YouTube but Hope FM live na pale Twitter and I told you the guest today and I'm excited to host her because uh, eh, last time tulikuwa pamoja inakuwa eh, meingia kwa hii sphere hako walikuwa nataka sana kuimba lakini eh, hakuwa meingia kwa hii sphere and uh, I sit there and I see her music I see how you guys are celebrating her and I'm like yo enyoya mungu mungu ni nani Edith Yes sir. Eh, karibu. Asante sana. Eh, tuko live hapa hata watu wataanza kukusalimia hapa kwa hii kamera yangu. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, how are you doing? I'm all right. Uh-huh. I thank God. Ta miaka imekuwa mingi. <laughs> eh, miaka mingi. <laughs> eh, nilikuwa nilikuwa na, nilikuwa nakukumbusha kwa hali it all began. <laughs> eh, hey, wazee. Eh. We used, to, used to, to, to serve together. Eh, yeah. hey, almost miaka karibu 4 tangu tu ni more than 4 years. Because I think you you, you left Rukani acha hapo kidogo katoka mm. baadaye. Yes. We used to serve uh, Sifa Voices. You were singing soprano. Eh, uh, yeah. soprano. Ah, no, no, no. I was doing alto. Alto. Eh, yeah, kwa sababu hapo kando kando. Yeah, yeah. was uh, tena. Yeah. Na kumbuka chakula sako. Ah. Chakula sako. Sawa hiyo mbona unaboa? Una 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 bana anza kuambia watu <laughs> maneno tumefanya <laughs> chakula zako za watu sisi chakula kesi <laughs> baadaye <Yes. laughs> it's good to have you here it's good to be here uh, how have you been i've uh, been good mm-hmm. god has been good mm-hmm. hey, manze, all i can say manze, i've seen the faithfulness of god uh-huh. in a way that i never imagined wow uh, and uh, we are here for for that uh, and more stories yeah. and uh, you know uh, me i know you na uh, mwingine mm. hapa mtu tumejuana tumejuana for for a while yes. uh, for somebody tuning right now and ask Edith Wairimo for the first time uh, uh, who is Edith and uh, you know just an introduction of who you are so yes my name is Edith Wairimo I'm a born again Christian uh, believer uh, gospel music minister mm-hmm. by the grace of God na kwa hizi streets eh ni mtu tu anapenda Yesu and uh-huh. I love preaching to young people especially martinis uh-huh. uh, the youth you know young adults uh-huh. kwa sababu I feel e generation tuliambiwa mean uh-huh. mean mean ya age group ya e country iko chini sana yeah. kwa hivyo that means watu wengi wako kwa hii sector kwa sababu 45% wako <coughs> below 15 mm. so ukiunganisha na hii grouping ya youth unaweza mm. pata tunacheza around 70% actually mean mean age ya e country ilisemekana ni 19 19 Eh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, wale wasoi wengi wako wako na huku yani the young people uh-huh. na so ndio tuna we, we are really hoping and trusting in God that we'll have a godly generation wow. kwa sababu na yeye shetani manzi amesimama make sure ana try to make sure Ulea, the next lali, generation ana kill Ulea, mm-hmm. so we have to we have to be there to represent wow. so that is edith that is edith eh, ah edith acha watu wataanza kuisha mbo zako hapa eh zinaona dagoni akadui akadui ah let's let's go back to when all this started when you you really wanted to to sing yes. and uh, how the journey has been bako kajipata kwa 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 hii space yenye uko sasa hii yes mm-hmm. well i think unajua journey yangu kwa hali penye ilianza mm. eh? so journey yangu of course ilianza sifa voice <laughs> kama backup artist wa Ruben Kigame hapo mm. ndo tulianza na wewe ndio tukapatana sifa voices yeah. we served with the man of god for a while mm-hmm. alafu kidogo kidogo ndo actually nikienda kwa Ruben nilikuwa anga nimesema nita, nimesikia he's a father he's a father in the in the things of music and uh-huh. ministry uh-huh. so nilikuwa nataka ni father yani he just shows me how to record Um, you know what normally happens and how to release music how to market music vitu kama hizo but when i came <coughs> something better even happened mm-hmm. i got to serve under his grace mm-hmm. and um, you know i got to actually minister with the man of god mm-hmm. so hapo ndo music jani yangu najua watu wengi hawajuangi hapo ndo jani ilianza ah mimi hata naonanga ni kama ulikuwa usha ushaanza ni venye tulijipata tu tukiimbia mahali eh uh-huh. zi So hapo ndo ulisema nataka kuimba. Eh hapo ndio ilianza. So tulisema tulitaka kuimba kwa katoto. Mwana mwingine aliniambia alianza kuimba kwa kwa tumbo. Yeah. Karibu mulizo ulijua aje lakini yeah. alikuwa anaambiwa alikuwa yeah. anachekiwa mdogo Sunday school and stuff. Yeah. Hapo bado na present pale kwa kanisa. Nilikuwa na present by the way. Ah yeah, mimi nilikuwa naongosha na, na, na guy naongoza national anthem. Hai ni mbio karisu mendeleza nayo hapo. Na wewe nasema kuongosha. So 
So I've always been um, I can say that music has always put me in the limelight mm-hmm. keep planning. Mm-hmm. So vile nilienda um, high school mm-hmm. sikuwa nimeokoka. So mimi ndio nilikuwa na entertain wase na morale huko. Aha. Unakumbuka morale ya pilipili hey. sijui na sijui usilete compare. Hey, 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 sasa hey. watu walikuwa wanazima stima saa Saturday wanawasha torch. Wewe oh, unafanya mambo yako? Unafanya ah, mambo yangu. Hey, so mimi hey, siku monalizing hey, hey. something. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love your music. But then shortly after kwa weekend challenge ya kwanza high school I gave uh-huh. my life to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And hapo uh, ndo nini jani yangu ya like sasa music in in salvation ikaanza uh-huh. hapo. Mm-hmm. Nikaimbisha high school all through high school I was uh, I was in the prison worship. Mm-hmm. And I was also one of the CU directors so hapo ndo nilikuwa nina serve. <coughs> At some point nikatoka high school nikaenda Kampo. Kampo hapo ndo life ili change kidogo yeah. kwa sababu vile nili nili join praise and worship mm-hmm. so one day nikiwa kwa dom mm-hmm. kwa hostel naitwa ngwa hostel eh? mm-hmm. so nikiwa kwa hostel i had some people say mimi napendanga sana vile ibitha naongoza praise and worship in mm-hmm. fact ile siku haongozi praise and worship mimi wanga siendi service uh-huh. naendanga after praise and worship kusikia word uh-huh. so hiyo kitu ikanieka hofu ya bwana sana mm-hmm. like i was i was deeply afraid eh? because i've been trained in the things of god and so i knew it's very wrong to take the glory mm-hmm. yenye si yako mm-hmm. na hiyo glory na kuanga na mwenyewe mm-hmm. so i decided in in uh, in campus the spirit of god specifically told me acha kuimba mm-hmm. acha ah. kuimba talk a prison worship i'll use you elsewhere what yes just uh-huh. to avoid being idolized i stepped out of the prison worship ya campus mm-hmm. So after that ni kapele kwa ministry ingine inaitwa creative ministry. Mm-hmm. So I was a director there. Mm-hmm. So creative ministry involved uh, like <coughs> acting, dancing, nini hizo vitu. That's mm-hmm. why naonanga ninakuwa na panga anga mingi. Yeah. Ili ili jengewa hapo. Tuko wengi. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> so <coughs> ika ikaenda hivyo. Mm-hmm. Nikamaliza campus. Mm-hmm. After campus sasa ndio nika bila hiyo mwaka tu ya kumaliza campus mm-hmm. so, ndio nikatafuta Ruben Kigame mm-hmm. sasa ndio nikampata nikaingia kwa Ruben Kigame tukafanya na yeye ministry zile months zenye tulifanya na azo mm-hmm. for the period of time tulifanya mm-hmm. then after that i could still feel in my heart god has called me to write music uh-huh. and to record music uh-huh. so hapo ndo nili step out kidogo mm-hmm. sasa nikaanza kuandika but it did not take off immediately. Mm. The first song I wrote in around 2017. Mm-hmm. 20 no, the first song nilifanya 2016 mm-hmm. na nilikuwa nimeandika 2015. Uh-huh. It it went nowhere. Hata mm-hmm. nilisha i delete YouTube sasa. Kwa nini? Kwa hiyo so many because <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. nika delete eh, nika delete YouTube it went nowhere to be honest. Mm-hmm. Ilipata ili pata dhau dhau kama mbili au matatu. Dhau mbili. Nimemeki, nilikuwa nimemeki. What are you saying? <laughs> you know, you know my, my my what I consider my best work. Yes. Uh I did a something called number kwa screen. Yes. I consider that my 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 my, my best or the best. Yes. Almost four years now. Yes. Hijaona hata dhao pale hivyo. Wewe ka delete jo ya dhao mbili. <laughs> Na inakuonga tu hapo. <laughs> Nasi dawai to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When I grow up. Yes. <coughs> so uh-huh. <laughs> nika delete actually what made me delete is because tuli nili, nili I was signed by a label uh-huh. 2018 mm-hmm. oh, okay mm, I was signed by a label so Kenya you happen uki join label uaga wanataka waanze na wewe wanataka kuanza na wewe uh, it's like ni wao wameku discover mm. and nobody okay. else has ever so what would happen in in such a case huwa sana sana wana wana delete the, yeah, 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 the nah. previous music ndio muanze from scratch so ah. that's what happened how is it working in a label as a christian hey, let me tell you and, something and you have your own creativity you are in that uh, secret prayer place yes. of prayer mungu amekuambia hivi yeah. alafu unakuta label ndio hii hapa mi mi kwangu ili work mm-hmm. ili work for a time uh-huh. Let me just say that God wanted me to be there for that season because mm-hmm. kenyeli kwa happen I was working for another organization mm-hmm. in 2017 so meskia lebo nimeingia 2018 uh-huh. 
in 2017 nilikuwa na work for a certain organization here in Kenya mm -hmm. and I lost my job in December of 17 mm -hmm. and then in January of 18 nika apply job fulani ya international platform to hapo mm -hmm. mm -hmm nika shortlistiwa nikaenda my interviews mm -hmm. so nilikuwa nimefanya interviews for like 4 months mm -hmm. april interview ya misho sa april of 2018 mm -hmm. ndio nikaanguka the last interview oh. mm -hmm. so vile nilianguka nikaingia depression mm -hmm. kuingia depression hapo ndo nika doze nime mm -hmm. waste 3 months of my life mm -hmm. nikiwa bed juu ya kitu inaitwa depression mm -hmm. So at some point nikiwa hapo I cried to God mm -hmm. nililia sana mm -hmm. and I remembered the scripture that is written in the book of Daniel pahali penye Nebukadneza mm -hmm. alipoteza saniti yake mm -hmm. kwa sababu kwa sababu alikuwa ngamejinua yeah, juu yeah, ya Mungu yeah. but the bible says after 7 years Nebuchadnezzar looked up to heaven mm. and his sanity was restored. Mm. That's what the Bible says. And so your time nikajua depression is the enemy taking away your sanity. Ah. Like the way you are thinking, you are made to believe in God. Mm. You are created the way you have been shaped. Mm. Yani umeshepiwa kukuwa na faith. Mm. So when you are working outside of faith, you are working in insanity. You are mm. not in your right state of mind. Because your right state of mind is a, is a mind of faith. Mm -hmm. So, hiyo time do nikalilia God. Nikajwa hiki to depression. It's not even... Yes, I know it's a, it's, it's, it has a medical implication. Mm. But then it also has a very strong uh, spiritual... Ikona spiritual <coughs> implication. Kubwa sana. Mm -hmm. And you need to deal with the foundations of depression from... Also from a spiritual point of view. <coughs> I agree with you. Mm. Um, uh, I get criticized a lot in the spheres I say uh, when we remove the faith aspect from mm. uh, this whole conversation mm. I feel like we are not sorting it wholesomely. The same way uh, we talk uh, about even alcoholism as a, as a disease. Mm. You know we get the now we remove the moral, the moral aspect of it, the yes. Christian aspect the, the faith aspect of it mm. and now we deal, it's okay we deal with it like that but also there is also the other conversation there is something God is saying about yes. this situation yes. and there is something also God can do mm. and I think you are the first one umesema kitu kai on kumbuka no passion ki nikianza hiyo conversation but i agree it's supposed to be a hand in hand yes yeah. they're supposed to work together because mm. man man is a spiritual being yeah. kitu yote ina ina affect man to the point that ina manifest physically mm huwa -hmm. sana sana imeanza in the in another realm uh -huh. na ile realm you anzia si hii ah. it's called the spiritual realm how, how did you come out of that place i can't say it was easy mm -hmm. and i can't say it was in one day mm -hmm. Uh, what happened, a friend of mine alinipigia, <coughs> akaniambia, Edith, si unapendanga high school ministry, mm -hmm. I want to involve you in a ministry that I started. Uh -huh. And that man is no, none other than a friend of mine called Pastor Charles. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, to Kanza high school ministry. Mm -hmm. So when I started ministering, nikienda mashule, nikiombea wase, Eh hey, wananiambia wako na issues zingine zinakakubwa kushinda zangu kwa <laughs> pen. You get? <laughs> like they just tell me they are problems mm. inakuwa kubwa sana. So what I did I didn't even feel like I was worthy to be ministering to them because I felt I had my own baggage. Mm. But the thing with ministry is you don't use your own strength. Oh, wow. Nice. You are normally you no, it's it's not even you. Mm. Actually he's taken the last of you. Sasa amesha take over ni yeye. Mm. But as I continued on in ministry, somehow depression is a fruit of selfishness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kwa sababu una kwangu kifikiria me myself, I, oh, me ni mefanya, oh, you know, like depression comes from a place of thinking about self. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is what sparks depression. Mm -hmm. But when you are, when you, when you work in the heart of God and you begin doing ministry, mm -hmm. Somehow it takes away from your selfishness. You start mm -hmm. thinking about other people above yourself. Mm -hmm. And God uses that as a tool to heal you. Mm -hmm. And to also remove those things. Mm -hmm. Also, in when you are ministering to people and breaking foundations, mm -hmm. I always say, you can never take people where you've never been. Ah. So you can never deliver people when you are not delivered. Mm -hmm. So when you begin in the line of ministry, somehow the Lord always delivers you first. So that you can be able to take people, his people, mm -hmm. where he needs them to go. Wow. 
So oh. that is for me. God used used the tool of ministry. Ah, yeah. Nice one, nice one. Mm. Uh, I think uh, we we take a breather here. When I come back. We'll start with uh, Penzilako. Okay. Hey, I want to <laughs> I, I want to know if Penzi. Ilikuwa na apa na apa. Imi angu pia na kuanga kuget the story behind uh, the 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 music. Yes. Na ni ni kuna baden kubwa sana ya ku display especially artist wa generation yetu yes. this age bracket yes. kuna ile wanasema ngao watu wanaimba tu kuimba tu kuimba tu yes. hata you know I've had even an artist here talking about njo mungu kakiomba yes. fasting and stuff yes. and it, it it creates awareness <laughs> that there are there are artists in this generation who are really listening to god yes. and are writing music as directed by the holy spirit yes. because a uh, hii assumption ya they are bigger kuna big artists yes. kuna ne, i don't think inafaingie mali kuna kuna mission ya god inafaa kila mtu akwe anasikika and uh, actually was... let me tell you something when 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 we talk about big and small in the kingdom of god vile vile kingdom ya god you work you mm. work you work in reverse mm. ya vile hii realm yenye yeah, tunaona exactly. you work kwa sababu jesus akiongea juu ya john the baptist mm. aliwauliza hivi who did you come to see hmm. a broken down reed hmm. so when jesus alikuwa anga na tam john the baptist alimshow kama kanyasi kenye kama chapwa tu na upepo na mamaji na nini that's yeah. how jesus portrayed the image of john the baptist hmm. na akasema whoever will be least more than john the baptist yendo atakuwa great greater in hmm. the kingdom of god hmm. uniambia hivi john the baptist alikuwa anga anaishi kwa kichaka mse Hmm. Ako hata na vaa cladi. Hmm. Alikuwa anakula sijui magraso upa sijui na mahani huko za kichaka huko. Hmm. Alafu unani atakuwa list than yeye. Hmm. Wewe tuko na cladi unaishi nyumba poa sijui uko na nini. Who will ever be list than John the Baptist? And still we are wow. seeking greatness in this kingdom. Ndio. 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 Kila mtu ana ako, ako, ako na jani yake na Mungu even musically kuna mm. vinye unaandika Mungu amekwambia andika hivi yeah. uh, it paints me when nasikia huyu hapana huyu huyu hapana huyu but when you sit down and listen to the stories behind the music mm. and even why people write what they write mm. eh, you realize what Mungu alikuwa kwa picture hapa hivi mm. so eh, when you come back we're just going to sample some of your songs and also there's a new song here yeah. I'm really excited <laughs> about this no, this new song we'll talk about it yes. uh, Shajara ya biashara na Gloria Musimbi Ujambo msikilizaji na karibu Kampuni ya mawasiliano ya safari kwa mimirekodi ongezeko la thamani ya biashara iliyochangia theluthi moja katika bajeti ya Kenya mwaka 2022 ni kufuatia ripoti mpya iliyo rekodi jumla ya shilingi bilioni 793 kupitia bidhaa za kampuni ya mawasiliano ya safari kwa mzae mshwari na fuliza katika mwaka huu kifedha ulio kamilika juni Thank you. 
song when I get to the chorus mm. it's full yes yeah ha penzilako kulianga aje how did penzilako come you just thought of higher than the mountain and all these beautiful <laughs> names mm. i think i don't even i cannot uh, i cannot quite recall how i wrote penzilako but i think it must have been when i was going through a very that that uh, that cut tough time of uh, losing the job <laughs> Um because after I joined the label mm-hmm. by the way something very interesting about this label mm-hmm. uh, when I was coming out from uh, from depression I've told you about ministry and all that uh-huh. I once called a friend of mine and I want to join I want to join a label mm-hmm. in fact I want to have a manager uh-huh. can you Lisa what do you know about management as in what's having a manager i don't know i was just feeling like yes i'm ready for the next big thing but yeah. i don't even understand what's the next big thing so <laughs> give me a manager 
and um, obviously I wasn't understanding the concept very well, <clears throat> but uh, sooner or later I was I was connected to a to somebody who is today my friend, mm -hmm. but at the time he was my friend and manager. Mm -hmm. His name is Fakili Wali, uh -huh. and at that time he and Jolly Kwanga na manage Rinshil Shinsky, Munya Shinsky, like we know him. So Nikaenda Nikamuona. Mm. nikamwambia mimi manzee nataka kufanya music na sina do mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. so song yangu ya kwanza overcome overcome the is, it was uh, it was financed by the label mm. but sa kukawa na shida kidogo kwa sababu label pia lazima itengeneze pesa mm. na zile ngoma zenye ninafanya sifanyi ngoma zenye zinaleta pesa aha uh -huh. And it was watu, a pesa. <laughs> pesa <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the day we it, it didn't work. Obviously because he also ventured into other mm -hmm. projects mm -hmm. and he needed to concentrate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I moved on to doing my own things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So it did. Yes. You are a household name, Saizi. You know, you are a humble <laughs> lady, but you are a household name. You know, people know it did. People, yes. uh, you know, sing your songs. Yes. You know, can I at a YouTube? Kuna nge, tuanga mi milioni already. Eh, eh, uh, and I've, even during uh, COVID, I used to watch your lives by the way. When you comment, like any, I would watch, you know, what yes. you are doing and uh, the praying and just uh, you are all out uh, for, for, for Christ. Yes. And uh, there you are thinking of I'm ready for the next level, you know, Johnny Julikane, these platforms is open. Yes. Uh, I don't know what next level you are talking about because where I'm at right now when yes. I look at Edith Wairimo, mm. you know, even a simple Google search will bring your information. Yes. And that means kuna milango zinafunguka, mungu amekuingiza kwa nyumba za watu, kwa masikio za watu. Yes. How are you dealing with uh, this uh, popularity uh, thing? Because eco. I mean popularity will always be there and for you to have influence you have to have for popularity mm -hmm. and it was even there in the times of jesus mm -hmm. i mean people would he was a household name people would hear jewish he's in where they crowd there mara ingine hata wana wana mfuata na ataki kufuatwa so i always when it comes to handling popularity i always try to emulate christ mm -hmm. kitu number one when people come to the to you give them the word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. number two when they come to you let there be signs around your life that glorify the father jesus never did his own will he said mm -hmm. my food is to do the will of my father mm -hmm. so jesus vile crowd ilikuwa inakuja alikuwa anga na wape kenye babake what babake alimtuma kufanya mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but another secret of jesus when it comes to dealing with the crowd always make sure that you don't you're not always with the crowd to the level where you are not with your number one your disciples mm -hmm. training people who are close to you and not from a crowd level mm -hmm. but from a mentorship level mm -hmm. always have people who you are working with in the times of jesus he did not require accountability because i mean he was god he was god but for us those people who you work with mm -hmm. they become your accountability partners mm. but they also become people who you are feeding yourself into mm. usikuwe kama elisha mm. manze elisha imagine alienda na hiyo anointing yote hakuna mtu mwenye aliachia <laughs> at least elisha aliachia elisha mm. elisha akuachia msi cuz mm. gehazi alimes mm. unaona mm. so elisha alienda na anointing yake huko mpaka mabonds zake ziko anointed huko mpaka zikiangukia mtu amedai anaamuka mm. but hakuna mtu mwenye alipea nini hiyo mm. mantle wow. elisha never passed the mantle mm. so <clears throat> that's why ule king ule king mwenye aliambiwa throw three arrows ile time yenye aliambiwa you are only going to overcome israel wata watashinda two three times peke mm, yake mm. there was nobody to to kupeleka hiyo kitu father because elisha never passed the mantle so mm. to all the people who have been wame wame grisiwa with a certain mantle hata mm -hmm. kani yako mm. ya yeah, serving god within the media mountain mm. lazima you make sure your mantle you may pass mm. ndio tukitoka kukuwe na msimu wenye ameshikilia mwangea vizuri sana mm. jina si yako Mm. Jina ni Mungu anakupatia. Yes. Na kama kuna kazi Mungu ameweka ndani yako, mm. 
ni kumaanisha pia Mungu ataleta mtu. Juu kama kazi ni nzuri, Mungu yes. hata aitaisha na wewe inafaa iendelee. Yes. Eh and uh, talking about uh, angalia the some nation size, you know mm. they are always at war. But there was a time they were at peace because there was a, a father figure. Mm. And you look around the life of that father figure, there mm. was no sons, there were no people he was mentoring. So wakati anaenda the yeah. nation in a bucket too hivyo. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a very good uh, call you're giving us right now. Uko in a place of influence. Yeah. Ni nani sure. unaweka kwa hizo spaces sure unatembea na watu unatembea na wao at wow. colleague level but then also people who you are nurturing. Finally when Jesus was dealing with the crowd there are times when he would even leave even his disciples mm. and just go him and his father wow. on that mountain mm. so hizo stages lazima uku unaziona mm. crowd ikikuja there is what you are supposed to do and there is what you are not supposed to do uh-huh. in fact unajua wa say walika mtai moja Jesus akawa pe bread and fish mm. wakafikiri itakuanga hivyo throughout <laughs> So walikuwa wanamfuata wakingoja mira kotena ya bread <laughs> na fish <laughs> wa kule bila wali. <laughs> Walikula siku moja aliwaambiaje mm. now you will eat my body and drink my blood. Mm. Na mambo kilijitoa. Ilikuwa noma. Ah uh, did uh, uh, you know in the uh, kikuyu uh, side yes. of, of of ministry yeah. you know god has graced you you know as a, as a young lady you know yes. you have songs that speak to to that uh, uh category of you know people and uh the tribe yes and uh looking even at some of your big songs you know you've done them in vernacular yes and uh, somebody will ask you know why why uh, why not stick to to that line yes uh, oh, oh, i feel like you you now you are in this space you are speaking to your generation regardless yes. of kikuyu or what tribe but god has also graced you in that side and yes. uh, for a brief moment before we talk about the new song yes uh, how has that side of what you do been uh, you know influential in your own life or how do you see music as a as a as a christian and then also as a christian who is of a particular tribe mm. and then um uh, don't argue songs zako za kikuyu they are bigger than the songs you're doing with akina timam akina you know the song unatupatia saa hizi yes. what's your take about that particular line of thinking well logically speaking they make sense mm-hmm. spiritually speaking they don't uh-huh. because in the spiritual realm there is no language mm. jesus unified us when he gave us the language of the spirit mm. that means mtu wako nigeria wanaweza sikizana na mtu sijui wako wapi mm-hmm. and in acts chapter 2 the first barrier that was broken was the barrier of language mm. that is why when the apostles received the holy ghost kitu ya kwanza walifanya waliongea na language yenye watu wengine walikuwa wametoka mbali uh-huh. walisikia mm. una get mm. the songs of faith and the songs of the spirit wanga as require nini kama kuna song fulani hapa imetoka juzi ya wilberforce musioka mm-hmm. safi ni safi. kali sana me am not kamba <laughs> but nikieka kwa nyumba yangu na feel room imeja holy ghost una get hey. like in the things of faith tunaekanga songs za south africa kwa nyumba mm-hmm. sindio like unaeka songs za benjamin mm-hmm. pastor benjamin dube anaimba ki south africa who would uski kenya nasema no, no. but una catch the holy ghost mm-hmm. una get mm-hmm. what i'm trying to say is that the things of the spirit mm-hmm. logically speaking you in a make sense mm-hmm. but can you what what um, had to happen ndio nito nianze kikuyu first and foremost It was the tool that God used. Mm. Upon the portal ilifunguka mm. for me to enter into mainstream media. Mm-hmm. I entered through Kikuyu. Mm. And so I had to start from Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Lazima ningeanza Jerusalem. Oh. But where is he Jerusalem? Mm. At some point you are you are you are your anointing is required in Samaria. Your mm. anointing is required in Judea. So lazima ukuwe na ile wisdom yenye. Unajua Bible ndio ndio blueprint ya mambo yote. We have to go to the nations. Mm. And so you'll go to the nations, you'll come back to Jerusalem. Ni nyumbani tu. Lakini that is the principle of the spirit at work here. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's ya kuna kuongeza ama kupunguza <laughs> very intelligent uh, answer there. Uh, let's talk about Nitasimama. Nitasimama. This is mm. a new song. Yes. A very beautiful song. Mm. You know, uh, we cannot argue about the energy, the production, the nini nini, but uh, there is something about this song we, mm. that we do not know. Mm. And uh, that is why you wrote this song. Mm. Why Nitasimama and why this time? Eh hey, manze karis. Yo swali ni ngumu sijui kama niko ready kuibana saa hizi. Jaribu tu. Eh 
tukisikia tuna yes. tuna tunaona the artist tunaona the as in tunaiona ikiwa kwa hoki kuna kuna movie tunaitanga 3D hiyo yeah. ni full hiyo yeah. umepeleka mtu kwa melala huko <laughs> like you sing yes. it vile mm. iko mm. naweza taka tusikie wimbo from all sides yes mm. so i went through something very difficult this year mm-hmm. which i don't think i'm yet ready to to share it in the public no problem mm-hmm. but generally speaking the things that i went through a time period where god called me to seclusion total uh-huh. seclusion mm-hmm. and for many months actually karis if you don't know kuna ngoma nilitwa feb mm-hmm. but hiyo ngoma nilikuwa anga nimeifanya nime september last year uh-huh. so the last time i was in studio was a year ago mm-hmm. this was the first song nilikuwa na release in a year because then you talk a feb unasikia nilikuwa nimeifanya september last september. year So I went through a period of one year God preparing me just to release mm-hmm. to release this song. Mm-hmm. But for me to release this song, man then you may a motto here. But God taught me about his grace. Mm-hmm. Now, on to how I wrote this song. Siku moja, I was going through a very difficult period and what I was struggling with was unforgiveness. Mm-hmm. I was going through something that made me left me totally bitter. Mm. I was bitter, I was angry. Mm. And God was refining me. God was using everything the enemy threw at me wow. to mold me, to mm. make me because that's what God does. Mm. He uses God is not is not a worker of iniquity. Mm. But hiyo yenye shetani ametupa, hiyo ndio God anatumia kukuform. Mm. And so one day the spirit of God just woke me up, told me this wake up there's something you need to write. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda situ kamwambia speak lord your servant is listening wow hiyo ndo kitu moja nilifunzwa na samuel mm. so he started he gave me the song nikaandika nikaandika he gave me the tune it was a rap wow when it was time when it was time to break the one year and come back now to 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 mainstream ministry mm. i asked god which producer do i go to mm-hmm. and i remember i had two producers nikasema mm-hmm. god kama ni huyu nikimpigia kuwe available mm-hmm. nilipompigia aku available so mm-hmm. nikajua he's not the person meant to produce wow. the song so that's how again the lord directed me to exactly the studio because the, the spirit of god one thing people don't know god is so specific mm-hmm. akikutuma hata kufanya song si ufanyie tu studio yote atijui kona sound yeah, yeah. inakatu nguo utaona nguo kwa kwa mwili ya mtu uende uvae manzee ukienda uvae yako ikae vile hiyo uliona kwa nini unaget so the spirit of god really has to direct you wow. so me acha tuliseme hivi it's not even about my story mm. it's about his story because wow. yeye tu ndio alinipea ingoma yeye ndio aliniambia kwenye nitaenda mm. yeye ndio ame direct everything to the t mbaka sahizi so glory tutapea na ni yeye tu ni yeye tu and uh, already testimonies around this song uh, watu wanaandika hapa hivi mm. kama wewe anasema the lord uh, anasema the, that song came out at the right time mm. you know speaking to to her it yeah. came to me at the right time i was drowning in stress mm. yeah and yes. now hata akisema i was drowning in stress then mm. anasema mali ulikuwa yes. you see how it relates uh, yeah. the kind of people it's talking to because it was birthed at a season like that yes. wow and mm. uh, uh, let's just listen to the song and then uh, to, to, this is nitasimama uh, by edit wairimo it's a new jam out there and uh, i'll tell you how to get it wow. listen oh, and live on 93.3 fm in nairobi 93.9 western kenya and 101.9 mombasa
wake Nilipo karibia Kitini cha ezi Chetani ya mise mani mchafu Uyu hafa Yesu wakasimama Haka sema ona Nimelipa garama ya Sitozimia nitasimama kwa wema wake. the video is very simple you know yeah. there is Jesus here there is yeah. God seated there yeah. kuna ule anakustaki na kuna yeah. ule anakutetea alafu unaona the funny thing about your video shetani anaongea mob 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 bali Yesu tu anasimama anasema one thing Nilishafanya hii. Wow. <laughs> it is uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> and uh, you know you can uh, watch uh, this song, you can uh, visit uh, it is uh, Wairimo's uh, uh, YouTube channel. Yes. So many songs. Watu wameitisha Dagoni, Gaiwa, wa wa guys, we guy, wa guys show the all those songs. You know you can always uh, go to her uh, YouTube channel and uh, watch there mm-hmm. and uh it is kwanza nikuja siku nzuri sana yeah. because i also understand huyu boy boy kwa hapa anaitwa Davy uh-huh. mnajuana na yeye hey. imagine <laughs> hey. David King Irari <laughs> na, na leo nimeleta David King kwa hii studio mm-hmm. kwa sababu mwanzi nimekuwa uh, apa hivi for a year plus si bila kuenda kukunywa maji <laughs> uh, so yeah. ka, nataka ku nafaa kwenda live yeah. uh, pia mimi nilipumzike kidogo and uh, Davy ndio ole boys mimi nataka kuachia hii seat. So DV uko ready? Niko ready? Uh-huh. Na trust God. Ai kwa sawa mtu wangu. Nzuri mimi sina vya too big. Mimi ni size. Mimi mimi ni size, mimi size ile kidogo. Yeah. And uh, I know you're going to do a good job, eh? Amen. So DV will be sitting in for me. Nikienda live na ile at least pia na Joanna so eh yeah, unaweza itaidi tena hapa mchapiane. Eh yeah, bado tujamalizana na story yake. Kuna story anasema yuko ready kutuambia. Na Joanna siku goda ta deal na hati yake siku moja. Akikuwa ni sisi atatuchapia hapa so it is i want to thank you, uh, god for you thank you for coming through Amen. may god bless you akusumbulie mimi paka zote na kama yeah. unaenda kuminister in the next 30 minutes yeah. mungu akutumie huko hivyo eh hey, akutumie yeah. huko kabisa kabisa yeah. mimi nashukuru sana mm. eh hey, you know it's one thing seeing you na tutaka kuimba siku moja tukidance pale kwa sifa voices and yes. stuff and now you're seated here i'm interviewing you kinganganga <laughs> mikate and uh, that talks eh hey, tukinyanganyana mikate na juice that, that, that talks about even you know being good to each other in, yeah. in levels I because eh, ata si unacheki tulikuwa tunaserve too wholeheartedly mungu naye ametweka place nyingine hata hapa tu serve 
wholeheartedly mm. mali pengine pia. Asante sana. Mm. Tupatane Ndivi, kutoka mande. Ambia watu wakupate mande. Tupatane <laughs> kutoka mande from one to the other. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that has been really thank you and God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank